kids applying to college take the SAT to get scores for reading, writing, uh, math, arithmetic, as they used to say in my day. But now the group uh, behind the SAT is giving students a so-called adversity score. And at 5, Channel 11's Aaron Clark is live. And Aaron, what is this score really trying to accomplish here? Well, David, the CEO of the College Board says that the SAT can measure achievement, but it has no way to indicate resourcefulness, which he says is a measure of doing more with less. And so this adversity score, it is supposed to account for any disadvantages that a student may have because of his or her social or economic background. Instead of just a score in math and reading, the organization that administers the SAT plans to include an adversity score, meant to give admissions officers a better idea of who a student is and what he or she has overcome. Some see the move as leveling the playing field. I think that it's reasonable to account for real life circumstances and to acknowledge the fact that not every student is coming in with the same sort of access. Others are skeptical. Because I feel like that's just, uh, it's just another layer of stopping uh, poor students from achieving higher education. The adversity score takes into account 15 factors, including a student's neighborhood, family, and high school environment. It looks at things like crime and poverty rates, but an associate dean at Pitt's School of Education says the score doesn't look deep enough at the complexities of a student's life. Take the adversity factor of being raised by a single parent, for instance. We know a lot of single mothers who do an amazing job of raising their children. It also doesn't account for what if the family has two parents, but one is an addict. So it doesn't get to the level of detail to actually know if it's an adversity or not. A handful of schools, including Yale, took part in a pilot. The goal is to expand it to more colleges. However, students won't be told their scores. Only admissions officers will know. And some say that this adversity score is a start to addressing equity. Patel says that there are better ways to figure out a student's background, and she points to some schools that are no longer using the SAT. However, Pitt still does. Reporting live tonight from Pittsburgh, Aaron Clark, Channel 11 News.